Can you believe this? Somebody parked in my spot. I'll show them. Hey, Ben. Hey. 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 What? what are you doing? Oh, you know, you've got a flat tire here. So yeah, I think you made it a flat well, tire. I, I just wanted to show you how to change a flat tire so for autofocus. So we're going to get this ready to change. What do you say? Uh, okay. All are right. you changing it? No, actually, you are. Oh, great. I'm going to show you how. Well, we need to get your jack and your tire iron to get started. So go ahead and get your jack. There's my jack. So you need to know where your jack and your tire iron are before you actually need them. So this is good practice. Cindy, do you know what you need to do first? I have to get the nuts off. That's right, get the nuts off. You gotta break the nuts loose. Ooh. So go ahead and get started. Remember? Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy, there you go. Mm. All right, see, now you're never gonna I'm get any good leverage going in this. that direction. You're, it's not gonna happen for you. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Well, you start in that position, there you go, and give it a good pull. Ugh. Still nothing? No! It's stuck. All right, well, when sometimes when you gotta break these loose, see, you don't have a lot of leverage. So what you can do, instead of just pulling, constant pulling, give it a good hit. And that'll oh, break it hey. loose. Hey! Okay. Not coming off, huh? Not coming. Sometimes they're super stubborn, so you need the persuader. How does this work? It's just a metal pipe. You can pick one up at your hardware store. This actually holds a ceiling fan. Just slide that right over. All right. See, and that's going to give you a lot oh. more leverage. Now pull on it. Oh, Look how easy isn't that, that comes nice? Off, right? Where do we put the jack, Ben? Well, your owner's manual will tell you where to put the jack. But see, there's a slot here on this jack. Mm -hmm. And there's a slot here for the jack. Got it. So let's go ahead and get this jack into the slot. What do you say? Oh, here you go. Right. Knock you yourself out. Jack it up. Oh, I think this goes in here. Nope. No. no. This goes no. in here. No. This is why we're doing this now, right, Cindy? That's so that right. you know how to do it in the event that you need to. You can see now the jack is going up into the slotted portion that's made specifically for your car's jack. As you keep cranking, the car will start to rise. Looks good, Cindy. Thank I think you. we're set. Now we just have to uh, pull the tire off. No problem. You got it now. We already broke those lugs loose, so this should be a breeze. Now, a lot of times, the tire will actually rust to the hub because the hub will get rusty due to condensation or moisture or whatever, mm -hmm. and you can't get it off. So if that happens, all you got to do is hit this side, hit that side, hit this side, keep hitting it back and forth until you can break it loose. But that wasn't luckily the problem with yours. It's going to come right off. A good thing to do with the tire, stick it under your car, just like that. In case for some reason your jack sinks in the side of the road or something happens, your tire is going to be there to stop it from falling on you. So let's get the spare. Okay. There we go. There you go. There. And then just hand tight these on. Take the lug nuts and you're going to tighten them on by hand. A little dusty. All right. I'll take the tire on and just give them a little bit of a torque on each one. Not too tight, just enough right. to hold it. Because we're going to tighten it after we lower the car. Oh, got it. Terrific, Cindy. Now we're going to lower the car, which is obviously just the opposite of raising it up. Got so it. Let's go ahead and remove our flat tire from underneath. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that it's going to come down pretty quickly. Now, when you're changing your tire, you want to make sure you're in a safe place to do it. So even if that means driving on your flat tire for a little bit, go ahead and do it. Make sure the car is well out of the way of traffic, then change your, your flat tire. You did it. Now tighten up these lug nuts. Tighten them up. There you go. You feel it? You hear that little click? Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. That's not going anywhere. Ben, I must thank you for showing me how to do that because as a driver, I feel a lot more comfortable now. Yeah, everyone should know how to change their flat tire, right? Right, and it makes sure the spare has air. Yes, it will lose air over time. Now you can fill up the tire that you took the air out of and you can put that back on because you're so good at it. Bye-bye, oh. buddy. Okay, great, yeah.